Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I will be doing another gardening product review and this is by Hormex and this is what it looks like. It has vitamin B1 and hormone concentrate and it, um, the one quart or 30 through 32 fluid ounces can, can make up to 192 gallons. Um, so I think this particular container is my second or third purchase. I know initially I purchased like a smaller jar or a smaller container and I have, I have just bought it um, a few extra times and I, I really wanted to test this. I've actually been using this for, for quite a while now. I hope you enjoy the rest of my video. You're going to hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell. If you know if I never seen a time to upload a new video, um, all my social media accounts, including where you can get this. And if I do get, come across with a coupon or a discount, it will be in the description section altogether. So please watch my entire video. And then if you have extra questions, let me know down in the comment section. So this, uh, it prevents plant shock. Plant shock is very, very important. People don't understand that when you buy a new plant, that's actually plant shock. When a plant is being transported, um, every day is a plant shock. The reason for that is, is that in plants natural habitat, they stay in one spot. They don't really relocate all the time. When you are moving your plant from one area to the room to the other area to the room and also another area to the house or transplanting it, that is also another shock. Um, some people, you know, get a reaction of like the plant, depending on how sensitive the plant is, sometimes the plant will react rather quickly. This helps. This helps significantly. I use this every time I water. It's, um... It's excessive, but I love it. And um, my plants are thriving no matter if I'm moving them one inch um, or if I'm moving them across the room or a different room or a different um, level of the house. It doesn't matter. They're always very healthy and they don't get plant shock. And um, I, I attribute it to this one. So put that in, in mind because a lot of people do get like the plant shock effect and some some plants are rather more precious than, than others. And sometimes when you have that kind of reaction from a plant, it can get very, very stressful. It can get very stressful, nerve wracking, and then you ask questions from other people or Google, and you, a lot of times, you will have a ton of different responses. And of course, sometimes that can terminate the, the, the life of your plant. So be very, very careful. Improve growth. Yes, I have noticed that my my plants do um, better with this one than without because I have tested it out with and without it. And there is there is really a difference for me. I can really tell when I do when I use this one. In, um, I mix it with fertilizer and I mix it with other supplements. I have noticed that um, it just the plant just absorbs more of the nutrients and because it promotes root growth. The more roots you have, the more the plant can absorb the nutrients and the more the, the plant can actually ingest the water and the nutrients itself. Um, this can be, um, all grow mediums will work with this. I've, I've used this in just water propagation. I am never successful with water propagation, so I won't even blame it with this one because I've also used it with like other stuff. Um, I primarily, from my, my favorite medium to, to clip and propagate or clone, is through coco core and I will try to link that down below as well um, so when I do have clippings this is the only thing I mix in the water every time I do water them um, just so you know when you are cloning or when you have a rootless clipping or a node or a chunk do not give it fertilizer or a ton of other supplements because they don't have the root system the root system essentially is like our stomach as well it, that's where it um, that's where they can absorb the nutrients so if they don't have the root system they're not gonna they're really not going to, ab to absorb that and ingest it not only are you wasting your money your time your 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 resources but um, sometimes it can actually kill a clipping or a node as well because it's it's kind of drowning them essentially with too many nutrients that they can't absorb so please 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 um, pay attention to that Again, I use this one alone because I think like it's the only thing that I do need. It does say you can use, um, there are instructions here on the side and in transplanting, it's mix one teaspoon or five ml 
to a gallon. Hydroponic or aeroponic is one to two teaspoons, so that's between five to 10 ml, depending on what you wanna try. Um, I would suggest always go with the lowest dose and then build yourself up. Cuttings, cuttings would be um, when you're trying to propagate or clone. So it says dip base of cutting in full strength Hormex. Do not mix it with water at all. So what I usually do is I get it like a cup, I fill it with this, I put the clippings in there, I soak it um, between five to 10 minutes. It just says here three to five. I've noticed that if I do soak it for 10 minutes, it actually, it actually has a higher percentage of actually rooting versus if I only soak it for five minutes. Um, lawns and ground cover. I have never used this in lawns and ground cover. I've, we've never had an issue with our lawns and ground cover. So I, I just didn't want to use this indoor plants and, um, flower cuttings. I have used this for indoor plants all the time, every time I water. And what I do use is I use one teaspoon or five ml per gallon. It does say here to use one half. I have tried to use that. It's kind of okay. I prefer to use um, one teaspoon. Um, that's my preference. Try one half. If it works for you, it works for you. I just see a big difference if when I use five ml or one teaspoon. Um, when it comes to the the um, the cutting of a flower, I have a story, and this is unbelievable. So I have orchids, uh, phil Philanapsis orchids. And one of the um, stock died, I mean, not died, one of the stock broke. It had uh, one opened flower or a bud that already opened and it had, I would say two or three other buds that were just closed. Me being a sentimental plant parent, I put it in a, um, in one of those bulb vases they're very common in like Holland and Germany, or that's where they, they supposedly started a lot. Um, but of course in the U S you know, we have a lot of those and I have, a, I have a ton of those. Um, so I did that. I put it in there and I follow the directions and what you're supposed to do. I put in a few drops and I just let it sit there and nothing else, but just water in that one guess what happened? Like in, in a couple weeks, the buds opened. Can you imagine that? Like, oh my God. I was so amazed and it was, I think it was like last year. I don't remember, but um, I don't remember the exact date, but I do remember was, I'm like, I'm getting this for life. I, it, that has never happened before. I remember doing that, you know, you have plants and they break off. And especially like flowering plants like an orchid it's not that easy it's not every day that they grow a stalk and buds so i was trying to salvage that i tried that before and um just water i've even tried it with with um with orchid fertilizer but i was a i was like a new yee plant parent at the time so i didn't know that died but the one with the water, it kind of survived for maybe like a couple weeks and then it started to wilt and it never opened. But this opened, isn't that amazing? Um, so when I do get like flowers as a gift, um, I do provide this and it does, it does help the longevity um, of the cut flowers. But I have noticed too, like you don't really know how long the flowers have been sitting in the at the store at either the florist or the grocery store that it could just been sitting there for a few days and then it's you know kind of off but that was really fresh when i did that with my orchid um that you know it just broke and then i did that and it worked so it does this this really is like holy grail for me i always always have this i just bought a new jar um, I think I had, I think I got it like a week or so ago. Um, this is empty. And again, I always, always have this. That was like it, you know, um, that was when the, that was the moment that I actually like fell in love, heart, mind, body, soul <laughs> to this. <laughs> um, and it says here it provides healthier plants. I can attest to that. Like my plants are always super, super healthy. Every time these are watered, this is always in the mix, in the water. So they're always super healthy. Um, 
So I, I have used this with like foliage plants, flowering plant, that's a syngonium, pink splash, philodendron, and philodendron, both are scandons, and this is just a regular green. Um, this is the variegated one, the Brazil. This is a pothos, it's supposed to be a golden, but due to um, not really that much lighting, I would think for, for this variety, it, it's not really as yellow but the golden pothos really doesn't provide that much yellow. It's like a splash from time to time. Of course, this is a Chinese evergreen or an aglonema. I have a, like other plants over here. Um, and every single time I do water them, this is always in the mix. I have given it in um, my succulents. I have given it to my flowering, my, my foliage plants, um, orchid. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other variety that I missed but every single plant that I, I really have done that. And I've noticed that ever since I've been adding this, the, my plants actually like the growth is incredible. It, they, they just go through like the holes, the drainage holes much sooner than when I, before I started using this. So I really, really recommend this and I will be doing a comparison video another time because I've been getting uh, questions about what I've been using with this one and other products that is good for cloning, that is good for clippings, propagating. Um, what I would say though about since I've switched to this, I would say my cloning or clipping or propagation, the success rate has been 95 to 98% of the time. Sometimes even higher than that, but um, I think I just clip them wrong so they died yeah because you really have to like if this is the node you really have to clip like right below and sometimes I clip a little bit longer because I don't know I really don't know why I did that I think it just I thought I thought that um if you did that you have a little bit more ground that it can stick in but that was a mistake so don't make the same mistake that I did I would give this a 10 out of 5 stars I love this I, I love this I love this so, 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 so much. Um, I think the only plant that I've never used this on because it's my husband's plant is his air plants. And he just doesn't add anything to it. It's just water. He doesn't add this. He doesn't add uh, fertilizer. He doesn't add supplements. He just, he does his own thing and that's it. I, I don't, I don't really bother with his plants because I don't know anything about air plants. But everything else, I have used this, tried it for quite a while now and I totally totally love it this is just holy grail for me if you don't want to buy like fertilizer or supplements and stuff like that you only want to buy one thing this this would be it this would be it so two thumbs up 10 out of 5 stars highly recommend it um if you guys have any questions anything to do with this particular product if I didn't really if I didn't share that information or I forgot to share that information always, always ask me down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys all the time. And if I don't respond right away within like 24 hours, it's usually because I didn't get the notification that you guys left a comment on there. But it doesn't matter how old my video is. I always, always try to respond if there's something to respond to. Okay. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.